yeah, there are a lot of options to pick between in terms of the CPUs, but this time it's not as blatant obvious as the GPU options where you cannot actually go wrong. In this area, you can actually go wrong. So yeah, we are looking at the best CPUs that you can get for around $200. These are the best budget CPUs that you can get. And we have what? We have five options and I can actually tell them to you right now. We are looking at the Ryzen 7 5700X based off the old AM4 platform. We have the Intel Core i5-13400F. We gotta show love for the people who used to have the, <laughs> the CPUs. We got the Intel Core i5-12600K and we got two sides of the same coin, the Ryzen 5 7500F and the Ryzen 5 7600. So yeah, these are actually more than five CPUs, I guess, so, something like that. So let's just dive right in quick and let's talk about every CPU uh, in particular, you know, and let's just dissect it. So we're looking first at the 5700X. Why would you get the CPU? Really, I wouldn't ever think of getting this CPU unless I got it for a good price. I got mine for around $120. So this is why I would recommend you go with the 5700X. If you just have already an old AM4 platform and you just want to get the full use of it, this CPU is a 65 watt TDP CPU that would work fine on usually any board, even all the way down to an A320M, no problem. But I wouldn't get this CPU ever as my first brand new CPU unless there's something wrong in my country and I'm not having the latest CPUs out there. So there's that. This is a good CPU and I would not go over an RTX 3080 or RTX 4070. I wouldn't go over that. This is the highest this CPU could go. And it's the same in terms of gaming performance compared to the Ryzen 5 5600. So if you have a 5600 in your country, chances are that you are not getting any difference in terms of performance. Let's look at the other side of the spectrum when it comes to Intel, the i5-12600K and the i5-13400F. Also, these CPUs are more, you know, uh, of the same CPUs in terms of performance, in terms of core count, in terms of TDP. The 13400F might have a slight advantage in terms of IPC, instructions per clock, meaning the single core performance and the multi-core performance, but it's not that blatant obvious. It will not make any difference in gaming. And it's also limited uh, uh, around the RTX 3080, 4070, 7800 XT. You cannot go over that, you'll have some obvious bottlenecking. So why would you get this CPU? Because the 12600K usually goes on sale for around $150. If you need an extra physical cores and you don't want to go with Ryzen, you know, for example, you don't want to make the jump to an AM5, you already have a 12th gen CPU. The 13400F might make more sense than any other CPU on the lineup. But yeah, this is why I would go with the 12600K over any other CPU because it usually goes for $150. You'd only need like a $20 cooler to get it over and done with. And if I wouldn't go with something over an RTX 3080, I would get the CPU. But the obvious option, in my opinion, is the Ryzen 7600 and the 7500F for under $200 because these CPUs, you can go all the way up to an RTX 4080 terms of performance so yeah you will not be bottleneck you will not see a bottleneck if you decide to play a 1440p 4k gaming there is no difference whatsoever they are pretty power efficient six core 1230 cpus there isn't any limitations here or there and yeah it's based on the am5 platform that's the brand new platform if you wanted to save money go with the 7500f off of aliexpress that would go for around 170 dollars plus a cooler you know added to it so yeah, there is always, this is the best value for money CPU that you can actually get right now under $200. There is no actually doubt in that. And you can actually spend extra 30 to 40 dollars get the ryzen 7700 but this is another video for another day we're looking at the cpus under 200 dollars so yeah that's been it and the obvious winner is the 7500f slash 7600 in terms of uh, uh best cpu in terms of raw performance for the high end gpu if you want extra physical cores go with the 12600k if you want the best of both worlds go with the 12700k if you are a returning am4 user go with the 5700x if you're not spending that much money that's been it, and just keep in mind, an RTX 4070, 7800 XT is as far as you want to go with these CPUs, or most of them, only the best CPUs you have to go with something like 4070 Ti, or you can go with the 4070 Ti 480. See you in the next one, peace.